challenge and i guess before this video gets started uh, uh this is just a meant for educational purposes only we're using uh, like i said before web hacking kr which is a korean cybersecurity challenge site where you could practice your ha hacking skills for the most part in an ethical way so anyway let's get started so we'll be doing old 36 which is challenge 36 in this case and the description we get is while editing an index.php file using v editor in the current directory a power outage can cause a power out, a power outage caused the source code to disappear please help me recover so in this case what they told us they were using v so i'll just recreate on my on mine uh let's close this for now so now i'm gonna go to my desktop which i think i'm already on yes yeah, so if i do pwd clear uh, let's go let's try neo fetch neo just to show you guys my uh my cool thing neo fetch see look woo woo <laughs> but anyway let's get um let's get started so while editing an index using the v the a power edge causes source code to disappear so they were in the middle of an edit so in my case i'm gonna try recreating this so i'm gonna do v and then i'm gonna go index.php and then i'm gonna press enter so in their case they were editing so they're probably writing php code which is just like i don't know i think php well let's look at php sample code php sample code and then we just php syntax uh let's go with this mm, we just copy this for them oh no wait. uh let's try let's try something like this so they're in the middle of like um like i was saying before uh they're probably like writing php code like this and then all of a sudden somewhere there was like a power outage so what do you mean by power outage just for some weird reason i guess um um the power caused the source code to disappear so for the most part uh the power outage caused i guess um the source code so like let's say this completely shut off for the most part so i'm not gonna shut off my computer but let's pretend i just automatically close this what will happen so if i go back to this i term again and then head to my desktop and then we see that our file isn't there but that's what we tried ls list to list all the files but one thing you guys didn't know is that with v the list uh la if i do this is going to show all the hidden files inside my uh inside my current directory so if i do this we see that index.php swap is hidden inside there so if we just cat.index.php.swap we see all of our old stuff is there everything right here is saved so for some reason php saves your files in the dot swap folder so this gives us an idea where the file will be and how it will be named but why does this happen so we could look this up v dot swp file so what is this so it's a file so what is the difference between okay so swap is a file having changes that have not been saved while editing and v or v means that it's a backup file without the change from current editing this feature may be turned on off so So this basically means that it's a state that remembers the changes made in the most recent Vim edit, or I guess, so I guess for the most part, if you're doing some kind of work with V and if you accidentally close down your program, V saves your file and adopts swap file. So they basically, it, yeah, so it says swap file store changes you made to the buffer if Vim or your computer crashes, they allow you to recover those changes. So so I guess V or Vim or any, any of those, any of those, uh, I guess editing tools allow you to save whatever file you disappeared. So in this case, what we're going to try to do is try recovering that file. So we know that it's in the current directory, so which is this current directory where we're at. So the only thing we need to do is probably just do index.php.swp. And we download a file instantly. So what I'll do is just accept of downloading it right away. I'll just curl it. So curl is like a, you can think of it like a tool to... Um, to uh for the most part uh get your save the files that i removed the my local one so we'll just do ls just to be sure it's not there anymore and then we'll do uh wget i think i have wget installed if i do this oh i guess we're gonna do curl well i think i already have it saved so it doesn't even matter yeah, it doesn't even matter so uh uh cd I downloaded my downloads folder. So CD downloads, and then cat uh, index. Oh, we could do strings, strings. Uh, index. Oh, maybe it's called index. 
index.php.swp. So if we just cat this or we strings this, we could probably see the flag strings. We see a bunch of stuff being bim vim. So I guess the version of vim they were using or v roots web hacking kr. I guess where the folder where the file is at. Uh, I don't know what this is. And then we see a PHP tag and then we see flag. And then the flag is what about the nano editor? So it's just pretty funny. So for the most part, this challenge was mostly just understanding, I guess how a uh, uh, Vim saves like uh, Vim V V or Vim saves files when you just automatically close it by accident. In this case, if you just close files by accident, it saves it in a DOS SWP file. So if you're if you're just working on on an application or you're coding using Vim or Vim and for acts V or Vim and accidentally you just close your program. Um, for the most part, it gets saved in a WS, uh, .swp file in which you could get your current work back. So that's pretty cool to know. Anyway, that's about it for this challenge. And I guess how you how you will submit this is uh, probably control C it. Then you'll have like a challenge. On a, well, like if you log in, there should be like a, a button in which you're able to uh, in which you're able to like uh, validate your. There should be an extra tab once you log in and where you can validate your answer where you got it correct. But yeah. That was about it for this video. It was mostly just showing you guys, I guess, the, the cool features of Vim. And this is the flag. Flag, what about the nano editor? Which is pretty cool. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Hopefully, I see you guys in the next one. And yeah, hacking videos coming more this week. Anyway, peace.